Well, I was sitting here sewing. I got all the project bags done. I fixed all the labels that were messed up. I had to rip back some scenes, but that's okay. I'm working on the notion pouches. I actually stopped because I rage quit because <laughs> my machine unthreaded itself and I was like, yeah, it's time for a break. But I went and got the leftover spaghetti out of the refrigerator and was going to eat it. And then Jesse came in there and he ended up eating a lot of it too. And he wants more. So I was going to make some more spaghetti real quick. And I ended up dropping the plate and it shattered. So now I got to make sure he stays in his room while I clean it up and it has spaghetti sauce on it so it's glass everywhere and spaghetti sauce so yay but I'm in here in the air conditioner closet where we keep the brooms and stuff <clears throat> I gotta clean it all up make sure I got all the glass up <sighs> I can't believe I did that and those are like the plates we've had for years they were my mom's before <laughs> before they were mine and they're like indestructible I thought but I guess it just fell the right way and now it's all over the floor and I gotta clean it up uh-uh go back in your bedroom Oh gosh, I had to take a break for a second. I'm, I'm working on the last Notion bag. But I was just sitting here sewing and Jesse came and I heard him coming and he was saying, Popcorn, popcorn. And he's pushing his tricycle around and he's selling popcorn. So I bought some popcorn. And it was good popcorn, huh? Yeah. I thought that was so cute, but he's pretending he has a popcorn machine. Make popcorn to come out. It makes popcorn come out? Yeah, because... There's, there's an engine down there because it makes the popcorn come out. Wow, and you go around and you sell it to people? Yeah, and this makes it come out. Wow. And that calls thing, it turns, you, you turn it and it turns and it makes a popcorn come out of this thing. And this thing makes it go and this thing blows it. Wow, that's Watch really this. cool. <coughs> wow. That might the boom. That is so cool. Cause you're a good popcorn salesman. Oh, thank you, Mama. You're welcome. I have some somebody make a popcorn, but somebody wants hot popcorn. Hot popcorn. I have to put it in my oven right here. Oh, you have to put it in the oven to make it hot. Yeah, cause it. Oh my God! Turned it hot, but then I went in there. We would get hot. Oh wow! Well, that's really cool. And the smoke come out. It did. Did it burn? Five minutes come out. Ching! Oops! The hot popcorn come out. Wow! But I have to do it right through that people. What I do it, I have to send it. All right, I'll send it to some people. Hey guys, air conditioner and dryer or dishwasher are going in the background. We have to popcorn. Yeah, I finished all the project bags and the notion pouches are back there somewhere. I have a whole stack of crab bags that I was wanting to do tonight. I may still work on some of them later, but right now I'm taking a break. <laughs> and it's like six o'clock, I think, almost six. Um, Jesse's over there playing. I can't show you. Let me show you. I got dinner cooking right now. I'm making some sesame chicken and some noodles to eat with it. Mama, um, we will in a little bit. Mommy's about to eat dinner. Um, thrift store. We went to the thrift store the other day and I got some yarn there and I wanted to share it with you well, guys. I like to go outside. I know you do. We'll go outside in a little bit after Mommy eats dinner, okay? I got a bowl. These are all 99 cents each at our thrift store. I'm picking away. Okay. At our thrift store, all the yarn is 99 cents each unless it's like a little ball. And then on the other days when certain colors are half off, I don't know exactly what color the yarn is. But then they're half off. Oh, be careful with that. Don't drop it. But I got a ball of... Yes. Yeah. Uh-huh. Mommy's trying to talk. Okay. Hold on a second. I got a ball of the Baby Bee Sweet Delight. I got a bunch of this on uh, their Hobby Lobby clearance recently, but not this color. This color is peas and carrots. And then I got two of these. Um, they're Deborah Norville every day. <laughs> and I think it's called Parrot or something like that. Yeah. Parrot. But I got two of these. This one, I'm pretty sure, is a whole skein. It's just was used and then ripped out. And then I got another Vanna or Deborah, Deborah Norval, and it's a purple color. I can't remember. Aubergine. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so those are just worsted weight. This one's not. This is a three, I think. No, it says it's yeah, it's a three. But uh, I can still make amigurumi or something with it, and it's super cute. But I got those, and they were like four dollars. 
I got Jesse a, a bag of toys. Hold on, I'm talking just one minute. And then I got a Twilight book. I actually love the Twilight books. I didn't like the movies a whole lot. I did when they first came out because I was a, like a teenager. <laughs> but um, they're a lot, they're not as interesting as the books. The books are way better. So I went ahead and got Twilight. And I'm going to look for the other ones. Jesse, let me talk. <laughs> he keeps interrupting me. Oh my God. But yeah, I'm going to go check the stove. No, you can't. I'm sitting in it. I'm gonna go check the food and then I'm gonna eat and then we're probably gonna go out on the porch for a little while. And I'm gonna have to lock the door with that big walker. Okay. You can unlock the door with the big walker. And I'll probably take some crochet outside with me to work on while he's playing. to empty the dishwasher so I can reload it <laughs> and I gotta I always have to set it out to dry because a lot of the, the dishes still come out wet because they I don't like to do the heat drying because it, to me it uses more electricity <laughs> I don't know if that's true or not so I usually just let them air dry after they wash and so I'm gonna do that while talking <laughs> I just got Jesse I guess I should bring you guys over here <laughs> I just got Jesse out of the tub I'm pretty sure it's just high enough to where if he comes in here you won't see him naked He's got underwear on, but still. Um, today has been a stressful day <laughs> in the world of momming. Did I get clean? Yes. Jesse's been really grumpy all day. I think he's teething his last molars. Um, I was looking in there earlier and they look like they're right under the skin. So I think they're um, trying to make their way out of his gum. Cause he's chewing on everything again and uh, he's just really grumpy the last few days today was really bad he was just he had a lot of not necessarily just grumpy but like super emotional and uh, everything upsets him and everything makes him mad and all that stuff so whew, I'm ready for today to be over with on um, on top you know doing not dealing with all that and then dealing with making bags trying to get them done my goal was to have all the bags done today and I got all the project bags and the zipper bags done but I didn't even start on the crap bags they're already cut and interfaced and all that I just need to start sewing them and I wanted to do that today I just didn't get a chance now he's laying in there on his bed it's a little after eight so I'm hoping he'll fall asleep he didn't take a nap today so I snuggled him up and he's in there and I got a cartoon plan trying to get some stuff done so that I can go in there and start selling my plan. I want to... Oh, goodness. Okay. <laughs> I want to get a lot of these chores done. That didn't come clean. I hate that. I always have to hand wash something. <laughs> um, get the sewing machine back out because I already put it up because I, I wasn't going to sew anymore tonight. But since I'm hoping he's going to go to bed early, I'm going to try to get some sewing done. So tomorrow, Devin is off work. It's actually the day that you'll see this Sunday. <laughs> um, I got to uh, film a No Catch Your Name episode. And I need to try to get the Nick Crate winner announced because I've had it drawn for like a week and a half. And I need to hurry and get it done. And... Um, what else? I need to upload all the bags onto my Etsy shop and then announce that <clears throat> they're there. <laughs> so 
So uh, by the time you see this video, no, you'll see this in the morning. I won't have all that done yet. So by Sunday evening, I'm shooting for noon actually, afternoon, but I don't know if I'll be able to get done that quickly. For sure by Sunday evening, all the bags should be up on the shop. I gotta say something about that. <laughs> I know not everybody watches my vlog, so I'm actually gonna mention it on the No Catch Your Name episode two. That um, I had a lot of people message me on multiple uh, platforms: Facebook, Etsy, Instagram, etc. Uh, about me telling them when the bags are going up and stuff like that. And um, I can't do that. I can't just message everybody and be like, "The bags are up." Because so many, it's to the point now where so many people have asked me to do that that it's impossible for me to message that many people and tell them that the bags are up. My bags, you know, I'm only one person, so I can only make a certain amount of bags every update. And if it's first come, first served, if you don't get them uh, before someone else does, they're just sold out until the next uh, update. I do always announce on Facebook and usually on YouTube. But for sure on the Facebook group, I announce it every time as soon as I upload bags. So if you want first dibs at bags, I would suggest joining the Facebook group and watching the posts there. Um, I do do custom orders every now and then, but it's usually for people that I know well. Or someone who I've been looking for something for a while for that particular person. I'm, I'm not going to ever open up my shop to do custom orders for everybody because I don't want to have to make bags. I only want to make bags when I feel like it. Post them. If they sell, they sell. If they don't, they don't. And um, I can't hold bags for certain people because um, I don't think that's fair. Because you know I have over 4,000 subscribers, and I can only make usually like anywhere from 12 to 16 bag sets at a time. There's no way I can make 4,000 bag sets if everybody wants a bag. Um, it's just gonna have to be first come first serve. And that's, I'm gonna say that same exact thing in the No Kitchen Name episode so that more people see it. Because I don't know everybody watches the vlogs, which is fine. But uh, I've just been having a lot of people. Tell, ask me if I can message them when the bags are done and I can't <laughs> there's no way I can message so many people and to me that's not really fair because if I pick out a certain amount of people to message then they they kind of get first dibs on the bags and I don't want my bags to be held for anybody unless I made them intentionally for that person on my own free will not being asked to but um yeah, I guess that's everything I have to say about that. <laughs> I just, I don't want to ever have to uh, be a custom order shop because I don't want to have to make bags. It's kind of like my crochet. I don't want to have to crochet. That's why this craft fair is bumming me out because I'm at the part now where I have to crochet stuff for the craft fair. And I don't get to do the stuff that I want to do. And if I wanted a job that I had to do stuff, I would get a job outside the home. Um, right now, YouTube and Etsy and all that is just kind of like a side gig. It's just helping bring in extra money for the family. But it's, uh, I don't want to ever be forced to do stuff like that, if that makes any sense. But I'm going to finish getting these dishes cleaned up and see if I can get him to fall asleep. I don't know if this will be the last clip or not for tonight. 